everybody from the Y Motel. I am um, staying here another night because I gotta orchestrate how I'm gonna do this flip nonsense. And uh, weather's nice, but there's thunderstorms up there, so nope, not going into the snow. Banana time. Every person there that's in the valley, you have to Look everybody, I have new shoes. Not just one pair, but two. I don't know where to send the other pair to you because I don't know what I'm doing in this cam. And I had to put in the new super feet. So let's compare the new shoe to my old shoe. So they're watching Total Recall in the other room. So I come in this room. So. This is the second version of the Odyssey Pro shoe. This is the Odyssey Triple Crown. So how did it do in most of the state of New Mexico? Well, look at this. I got a big hole here, another hole here, and in the other shoe, giant hole. This hole was driving me crazy in the last section because a whole bunch of snow and mud was going inside. And, um, my insoles uh, also got pretty torn up. But overall, this shoe did very well because I went through the Gila and a lot of snow, so it was constantly getting wet and dried out. So if I compare with the tread on this shoe, oh, there's some grass there. And um, yeah, so the tread um, is a bit worn down uh, on the side of the shoe. These ones are much bigger, bigger lugs. So yeah, the tread was going also. So I think after, maybe about after 500 to 600 miles, you probably look at replacing this shoe. The biggest improvement from this shoe, uh, from the last model, is the heel. If you remember my old shoes, I had to cut out totally the entire heel. With these heels, um, they don't come up as high. Actually, this one looks like it comes up pretty higher than this one. Oh, I'll see what happens. But with this shoe, at least, it didn't come up as high and it didn't irritate the back of my heel. So I prefer these shoes to the first model. And then, you know, this is the unisex. This is the magic version and it's all funky colors. So it's gonna make me smile with every step. And I also got a new bra because my other bra was a year old and um, over a year hand was starting to go and so this is the icebreaker siren bra and i have a video all about this bra so you can look at that video if you want to learn more loading pen for the railway it's the chama post office and there's a conductor there so this is my first beer since santa fe <laughs> it's been a while cheers thank you hemlock for the beer you're welcome it's good to be here and not in the snow up on the mountain today. So. Oh, and the, and the lightning yep. and the thunder that's also happening at the moment. Off and on. I feel bad for all the hikers up there. Me too. Yeah, but. no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so this cheers goes out to Bob. Thank you very much for this land shark lager. Cheers to Bob. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Thanks, Bob. Bob. Thank Bob's you, Bob. Man. Thanks. I am in the grocery store. Why are they selling this? The best Canada has to offer. That is a lie. 1,000% a lie. Molson Canadian is not the best Canada has to offer. Probably like bottom 25% of the beer in Canada. Two, a shower beer on the zero day. I've now moved to drinking the shot. Shock Top. Shout out to Hemlock again for the beer. Thank you for the shower beer. Mm. It Corkster is pickle time. Look at that thing. Oh, uh, look at that corkscrew. What? What's wrong with corkscrew? Corkscrew. Hey, what's wrong with corkscrew? You fixed it. Houston, we have a problem. Oh no, that corkscrew is messed up. That's from Caroline's wine. We oh, passed the bedtime. Your. Hiker Midnight okay. was like three hours oh, ago. Messing with you over there. You might be having a bad day. Just 
poor Eeyore. <laughs> yeah. Stay safe, open. Gonna, gonna miss you. Enjoy the post hole. Breakfast. Freedom toast. Peanut the puppy. Oh. Like a bug. Like originally when we were getting on the bus for I was like, why are we going there? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're gonna check out Meow Wolf, which I didn't even do. Yeah, that's better. It's always a good time for beer. That's just what I need for the hangover today. <laughs> Raps has arrived. Tell me about your ordeal. Did you have fun? Yeah, Colorado is a magical place. The air smells nice, there's water. You cross the border, someone gives you a joint, and they're like, Welcome to Colorado! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It was really nice, and you can see the first bullet hit, which didn't do much, and the second bullet hit the table. Shot, 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 shot. It's courtesy of Bourbon Wraps. <laughs> it's Miss Highlight! Oh, yeah. Highlight in the house! Nine, eight, six, five. Mm -hmm. That's Dodo. Chili and Dodo. Dodo. We're actually going to go to the hikers. Oh, the hikers. Hi, country restaurant. I hear country. Country music restaurant. So I'm inside the Highline restaurant, and this beer is not a blue moon, it is a pinstripe. Uh, red ale and you know red ales are my favorite it's from a brewery in Durango Colorado called Scott Brewing Company and shout out to Craig thank you for the beer um, it's a little thin tasting um, I prefer a stronger a little hoppier tasting red ale uh, a little light for me uh, it's drinkable but um, a little disappointed I had a well, when you buy some cigarettes, you must have cars or footballers in. Power just went out. Bamba. Bamba. Everybody's still going. <laughs> 